Johor Bahru is a food haven for Malaysia street food, especially for Singaporeans. Just a short drive for train stop away, many Singaporeans come here for the delicious and affordable JB food. We have made multiple trips here since the borders opened after the pandemic. Having tasted many of JB's street food, here are our top 10 favourites. Stay till the end of this video for our bonus favourite JB dessert. This is a large kopitiam serving very delicious dim sum. While the dim sum pieces are not exquisite, it is hearty and flavourful. The taste and quality puts them a notch above the rest. There are three stations to get your food. Steam counter, fried food station, and pao and porridge counter. Everything here is self-service, so you go to the counters and choose the dishes you want. Kim Cheng is one of JB Local's favourite dim sum shop. Do come here early as the items sell out fast. Nasi Kanda Hijra is located at Taman Molek. The place is clean, nicely decorated and has quite a lot of seating. When we first arrived, we were amazed by the variety of dishes to choose from. It is very easy to order too much food as many dishes are hard to resist. Even before selecting the dishes, a mixture of various curries are added, adding diverse flavours to the rice. The dishes we ordered were really delicious and well cooked. We especially liked the fried cow lung and the crispy fried squid. We will definitely be back again. There is a rustic kampong ambience and laid back charm at Zizi Soup Tulang. The must order dishes here include the soup tulang and the Mirobus gearbox. The soup tulang was extremely delicious and hearty. We enjoyed devouring the flesh, cartilage, and tenders of the large lamb shank bones. The mirabu sauce was thick and gooey and had a sweet, savoury, spicy kick. Straws were provided for us to suck up the delicious bone marrow. This is a highly recommended breakfast in JV. Kamlong Fish Head Curry is just a short walk from City Square Mall. Try to avoid peak hours as you normally have to queue for a table. The curry gravy was really well balanced with just the right amount of coconut milk and spices. The meat of the red snapper was very fresh and smoothly textured. What made the meal even more special was the tauki, which went so well with the curry gravy that we ordered an extra portion. Like us, you will probably end up drinking the gravy by itself. San Lo Seafood Restaurant is located in a residential estate. This restaurant serves local Chinese seafood dishes, but the dish that made it into our top 10 is their signature San Lo Fried Bihun. It looks quite ordinary, but it packs a lot of flavour. When you cut through the bihun, there is a slight crisp on the top, where I assume was in contact with the wok. Besides the varying textures of the bihun, the savoury umami flavours got us hooked. We could have just ordered the bihun and it would have been a worthwhile visit. Tempoy Sate is located at Cedar Point Food Court near KSL Shopping Centre. They claim to have the best pork satay, but we didn't try that as we usually prefer beef and mutton satay. The beef and mutton satay were very well marinated and grilled to perfection. They were also less fatty than the satay we get in Singapore, so a little less sinful. The satay was served with chunky peanut sauce that was lighter in flavour. This ensures that the peanut sauce does not overpower the satay flavour. Of all the food we ate at Cedar Point that day, Tempoy satay was our favourite. Ho Seng Ki is located in JB City Square Mall. You have the option to have their noodles with soup or dry with a few sauce options. The mala spicy and black and spicy sauces are our favourites. While the sauces and wontons are good, the texture of the noodles is the main attraction. The noodles are made daily without any colouring nor preservatives and have just the right amount of firmness that we enjoy.
Tip Top Ikan Bakar is located in the Hawker Centre and you can tell it's popular due to the crowd right in front of the stall. They sell various seafood cooked in various ways and we decided on the salted egg yolk option for the fried squid and prawns we ordered. I have to say that the salted egg yolk sauce was really tasty and thick, so it really elevated the flavour of the seafood. The prawns we ordered were large and succulent, and the fried squid was nice and crispy. Oriental Kopi truly serves the thickest egg tarts in JB, and in our opinion, also the best egg tart in JB. Oriental Kopi has many locations, but based on our experience, the egg tarts have been consistent across the different outlets we have visited. The pastry is light and flaky, while the egg custard is like fluffy sweetened egg. Although thick, due to the lightness of the custard, it is easy to eat more than one in a single sitting. The Oriental Kopi egg tart is probably our most frequently consumed dish in our top 10. It was our first time trying Kacang Poo and we heard that Kacang Poo Haji was the place to go. The Kacang Poo had a nice balance of flavours with the curry spices, fava beans and minced meat. They also add diced onions and green chilli for some spiciness plus a fried egg to top it off. They then serve the Kacang Poo with margarine toast. Also squeeze in some lime juice to add an acidic layer of flavour. We recommend breaking up the toasted bread that they serve with the kacang poo and mixing the pieces in a thick gravy. This will ensure each bite is full of the wonderful kacang poo flavour. Definitely a great breakfast dish that can be addictive. This special mention dish is one of the best chendos we have had in Singapore or JB. This is comparable to the famous Power Chendo from Ting Ting Dessert at ABC Food Centre in Singapore. As both their Gula Malacca syrups are cooked for many hours, which make them thick, have a rich flavour and have a wonderful shine. Located in Topan Mall, this shop does not have a lot of seats, but thankfully, there was no queue during the times we visited. Definitely a must visit when in the mood for Chendo. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell below and watch our other videos here. See you in the next video.